How's it going everybody, Goldhead here, and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 3 of my Biomutant walkthrough guide. In this entry, we are going to be taking on the campaign mission, the Jagni Tribe, along with grabbing everything we can out of Bricktown. That's going to be all the equipment that is going to be scattered around. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get all those puzzles done, along with all that equipment, and we are going to be completing the Jagni Tribe. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Look, an emergency box from the old days, when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. More light means fewer places to hide. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Not dead yet.
So real quick, if you do not know how to buff out your resistance here, if you go to uh, mutations right here, and then what you want to do is go all the way to uh, resistance, it's going to be on the all the way to the left at the very bottom, and you can just buff out those resistance. So up these stairs, we are going to learn about Bricktown. Now, I am going to be covering every item that we can pick up from here all the way to our next checkpoint. And that's going to be in between Peekaboo Park and right here on Bricktown. So I'm just going to run around real quick and show you where all the items are along with a couple of the puzzles that are here. So let's go ahead and grab them all. And we were going to meet up at Peekaboo Park. Well, what do you know? We all share the same destiny, destruction or survival. Looking sort of good. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. A flush stool from the back in time. It seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old toxinol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxinol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Toxinol never cared about the waste, as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it up. There must be a track somewhere in this brick. The daytime makes it harder for things to sneak up on you.
You found the track. Amazing it wasn't destroyed. So much of this place was just discarded. No, it was never nice. The tracks... Let's see. Good to be able to get stuff done while the world is awake. Never thought I'd see a clothes soaker. You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. Just a few moves left. Make them count. really put a spin on it.
History is nothing but a series of stories. It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. Keep focused on what you can do today. Tomorrow's already gone. Your energy is empty. Blasting everything. Boom, boom. You're here for a reason. It's up to you to figure out. Would you look at that? A fry sparker from the back in time. Hardware that fix cooked provisions. Try it out. See if it still works. Looks like the fry sparker's knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working.
Just a few moves left, make them count. It's not the fry sparker that's the problem, it's what's put into it. Get the knobs in sync to make the hardware work. It's a fry sparker mindset. Boom, you got something. It's not exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away. So now that we have completed everything in Bricktown, as in collectible wise, we are ready to go into this peekaboo park. Now there is only one thing we can do here. This is just a very small area and this is going to be called a helpless soul. There are a couple items that I'm going to show you like this little bag right here that we can open up and collect this item. But what we want to do is jump down. We are going to have a little fight right here and then we are going to free him and that is going to affect our karma and we are ready to move on. Such a bright day to wander around in. This one seems to be in good spirits despite being left here for dead. Has heard that you only follow your own personal code and is worried you've lost your respect for life. Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. Seems happy, but surprised you chose to turn this disaster into a blessing. Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. That's a myriad tribe outpost. Clothes make you look unnaked.
them defeat. So much damage. Wants to know how much good you penalin de se The Vespidut outpost, long time home of the Myriad tribe. Let's see. Says you need to hit them where it hurts, inflict as much suffering as possible, and make it.
clear your tribe is a terror to their existence. Murder and mayhem and other terrible things happen. He's sure you've seen it before. Here's the first line of defense. a bomb lobber. Back in the spot, wrecked it. Give those twirly wheels a turn. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That wasn't the right way. The river tubs going down the drain. Keep going. Cage is holding a helper. Says they've been treated fair, but is glad to see you. Hopes you'll treat the rivals with the same respect they treated them. Grateful that you're willing to move past this, like...
a sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the Red Ray. Here's the second line of defense. means danger. Timber. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it. Then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks splody. Shoot it and kaboom, you're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. Says you're lucky to have the honor. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. He had a feeling you get along with the Jagni tribe, but it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. Your positive outlook on life might be just what the Jagni tribe needs to complement theirs, which is somewhat darker. But Out of Date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the World Eaters. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of Date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The Porky Puff needs to be handled. Yeah. He says the time has come to confront the Porky Puff at the end of the East Route. 
Maoketo tole ayadre. Goop is working on making his goo glide strong enough to break the waves out to the world eater. Kabobe farhi tolowoya lo yalobatoloyo. You should get over there and see what you can do to help. He knows things that you need to know. The rival says you'll see each other. He knows things that you need to know. Says you should. So that is going to complete the Jagni tribe, and that is the opening mission for your tribe there, whichever one you chose. I did choose Jagni, so that is why we are here. Now we are going to be getting that new campaign mission, which we are going to be picking up in the next entry. So as always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Cool that. Signing off.